Hello YouTube! Uh, I'm going to talk about my face again, which is why we're here, because that's where we do it. I've decided this arbitrarily. Um, so, like, what we're specifically here to talk about is, first of all, I have a new face. It's lovely. You probably can't tell, because I kind of made it look kind of like my old one, but it's the new Lelutka head. It is called Chloe. Whereas before I wore Simone, and it has just a few subtle differences, like the um, the basic shape of the mouth is much softer, the jaw is softer, the nose has this insane little upturn going on, and yes, I just find it rather more youthful and adorable than Simone, although I still really like Simone, it's just I try to go for something a bit younger. Now, some people might be, you know, just getting into mesh heads and so on now. And so I thought what I would do is uh, give a little tour of the Lelutka HUD. The HUD is the same for both Simone and, well, B Bento Simone, Simone 2.0. Well, what is it, 2.6 now? Anyway, the Bento Simone <laughs> and uh, the brand new Chloe head and presumably any upcoming Lelutka heads will share the same HUD, so having this basic knowledge will really help if you are just getting into Lelutka mesh heads. Uh, I I cannot be as much help with Katwa, or you know if you use Genesis or anything, but right now Lelutka, I I I can I can be of service. The Lelutka Bento mesh heads HUD, when it's minimized, sits down here and it looks like a little professional makeup case. It's very cute, and you click it and your first tab will look like this. It will have the Essentials tab. Now the Essential tab uh, covers Essentials. So, um, let's see. It, like makeup, skins, and so on, which we will go over now. It's, this, this basically controls the basic look of your head. Starting from the top, we have the Scalp option. Now right now I have the scalp turned on, and I have some hair on but toggling it will hide the scalp. So, you know, if you've got a hair that's like tightly fitted, you can hide that. So that's actually very, very useful. Underneath you have the ears option. I'm wearing both third party ears by Mandela, but it comes with some ears and you can toggle them here. They're quite nice ears. Obviously I have them creepy, dinky, baby small right now, but there are ears and you can toggle them if like me you wear third party ears. Over here the option for lacrimal carbuncle um, is a term I was not familiar with before getting this head but it's for this little little tear duct guy here in the corner of your eye and y you can basically just you know make it more comfortable to your skin. I wear the darkest one I don't know if that's anatomically correct and I don't really care because it looks nicest to me. Below that, you have the default skins that come with the head. Now, I am not wearing a default skin. I am wearing um, the one from Details, Ana Lucia, the freckled version. But as you see, you have a great tonal range, ranging from gothic pale all the way up to really quite a pleasantly dark African tone, which my makeup looks ridiculous over because it's, um, you know, tailored for my paleness. Uh, so these skins are by Glamour Fair. Um, so they're very high quality skins. If, if you like how they look, there is absolutely zero shame in wearing them. They are very, very nice skins and made to fit the, um, the Chloe or Simone mesh head perfectly. So yeah, they're cool. Below this, is, this icon is uh, the shimmer. It's not really shimmer so much as shine. But um, it's a slider, you can click here. It's like a slider, it doesn't really slide, but you know, you can slider it back and forth and it, uh, it shows the shine on your skin. Uh, the wind light I'm using right now doesn't really highlight this, unfortunately. Ooh, I have an idea. Hold on. Okay, we had to move everything onto my roof where there is some natural light and also change some things. But now you can see the effect of the shimmer slider. You can see right here and here all the various shininess, just this sort of glossy sheen on the skin. Uh, this is 
more shiny than I would personally wear it, but you can also see the, the material detail of the pores, which I think is pretty cool. Um, I would probably wear it something more like down here. More like there, nearer the default, where it's got a little bit of shine just to stop you from looking flat. But it's not like ultra glossy. Anyway, that's the uh, that's the shimmer slider. Uh, you can restore it to the default if you're all like, whoa, I'm like the shiniest. Um, by hitting this restore button. Or you can remove it, you can, you know, just turn the sheen off completely using the remove, which is also the same effect as sliding it all the way to the left. One thing to be aware of uh, when using the shimmer is that if you do not have advanced lighting on, if you can't see materials generally, then you will not be able to see this. Now, you know, this might also be relevant if you don't want people seeing you all shiny and you don't know it yourself so um just just exercise caution with the shimmer if you do not have uh advanced lighting enabled because you might be going around super glossy when you don't want to be or you know you might want to be super glossy and not see it and just not be and that's weird sorry i've put my makeup back on to tell you about these makeup um, tabs here. Uh, so the first one you'll come to is eyeshadow, which, as the name suggests, puts makeup on your eyes. Not always eyeshadow, sometimes it's eyeliner, but, you know, obviously you'll know that when you're putting it on. These sliders over here, uh, they control the blend, so you can make it more or less opaque. Uh, I generally like to have it less, but you, you, could, you can blend and it gives you some very nice options for altering up your look without even changing your makeup. And then this line again, this line down here is the shimmer as with here, so it makes it differently shiny. If you have like, for instance, very glittery eye make or some makeup or something and you want it to be, you know, to really pop, then you got that going on with the shimmer tab, with the shimmer slider. And then over here, these four are some of the default makeups that come with it. So you've got this quite understated just eyeliner here, but a rather less understated eye makeup here. Very dramatic eyeliner on the waterline and some gold up here. Next is a rather more subtle um, liquid eyeliner with a gentle sort of r dusky blush pink going on. And finally, this folk vampy smoky look. Now this little tab here will turn your eye makeup on and off, like completely. Uh, but it takes you just back right down to your basic skin. And then down here, there's clear, which takes it off completely as well. So you see, I turned it back on. And since I've hit clear, I'm not wearing anything. I am bare faced right there. The lipstick tab works in the same way. You, you, you've got the blend here and the shimmer. Obviously the shimmer is of more relevance with lip stuff because of, you know, either if you want to be glossy or matte on your lips. Uh, one thing to note is that if you turn off, if you toggle your makeup on and off with this switch, when it comes back, it will be at full opacity. So if I turn this off and on, you can see that my makeup is at, my lipstick is actually black. And I just had it very, very, very sheer. So if you've got the perfect opacity going on, then you will need to re-toggle that. Uh, the lipsticks that come with it are a gentle pink, very soft and pretty, a coral orange, a darker pink, and a bright pink. Eesh. I don't like pink. Have I ever mentioned it? Now, the brows, I I use the brows that are on my skin. So I don't use this. I have this toggled off. But if you use third party brows, then obviously this is of relevance to you. The ones that come with are, you know, um, they're quite thick, very, very trend. They're fun. But you know, they have the same thing as all the others. You can blend them, you can clear them, you can toggle them, and so on. 
lashes you can again get third party ones but you now have eight options that come by default i generally wear i generally wear one of these uh sparsest shortest two over here because you know i don't really want a big falsies look um but they are all nice and wearable and fluffy and go from natural to vamp now you may notice these are linked together on the hud it's just a very subtle line but um they are linked together and that's the long and short version of each of each style you can also turn them off if you have some rigged eyelashes of your own or just some regular eyelashes that you like uh if you wear old-fashioned uh old-fashioned mesh lashes be aware that they won't blink with you you know they won't move with your expression but if you've got some that you really love then that's there for you as well uh there is also a mask mode which means that they won't they, they won't clash with other alphas but as you can see they look a bit more um they look a bit more clumpy in mask mode so really you should only use that if you absolutely have to the tattoo layer is basically for um anything that doesn't fit under standard makeup pretty much uh i use it for this star freckle and you may or may not be able to tell but it also um it also i also have a little bit of blush going on although it's quite a neutral shade it just sort of blends out some of the contouring on my cheeks it, it, like the others you can blend it there is no uh shimmer but i'll come to that in a minute you can clear it and it comes with other uh options too like by default you get this blush which is very nice some additional freckles so if you if your skin does not have freckles or you don't have some freckles that you prefer then you do not have to be freckleless a different set of freckles and with the tint settings i'm using it doesn't show up very well but there's beautiful design here on my forehead i will get into tinting in just a minute but it's on my chin and it's a beautiful you know actual facial tattoo it's very very pretty but yes i have this tint i will come to tinting in a minute finally uh hair bases a hair base i am wearing does not um does not come with the head it's by tableau vivant at this round of collaborate 88 but the ones that come with uh i would wear number five and yeah the default is good it's it's you know very tonally varied and you can also tint it which is what we will come to right now tinting is important to know about with the uh with the little kamesh head to gain access to the tinting uh let's say tab uh, you click this thing that looks like a teardrop it's got like two different shades on it uh, you click it and this down here will pop out it's got an instruction on the side I am tilting my head 90 degrees select the layer you wish to tint and pick the color you need and pick the color you need toggle HSL RGB for better accuracy and if you wish save the swatch for later you can along here here is the list of all the different things you can tint. You can tint the sky, the skin, the, tint the sky. It'll be beautiful. You can tint the skin, the eyeshadow, the lipstick, brows, lashes, tattoo, hair base, or all. All, you know, I guess, for if you wanted to create some fine effect or some such. So right now, what I have tinted is what, like the, the color you can see here is what color I have my tattoo. Here tinted um, I can make it bright blue or whatever just by tinting around on this color grid and create many different effects and if I decide I really like this if I decide that I want to make all sorts of things that color if I click down in one of these boxes down here and ho hold it then there it goes the color that I have just made saves into there you can clear tints which will um, restore what you are wearing back to its natural untinted state or you can clear swatches which resets all of these back to white you also have these down here on this bottom row for you know black 
various shades of grey, white, and then, you know, these brights. This is the hue, saturation, and luminance tab. And then over here, you can have the RGB one. So if, for instance, you have discovered the uh, red, green, and blue value of something you're wearing, and you want to just simply copy those numbers in, then you can use these here to match perfectly. It's very useful for uh, tinting lipsticks, for instance. This is the uh, lightest pink default lipstick. If I select lipstick and deselect tattoo, it does not automatically does not automatically toggle them. You do have to turn them off and on. If I select lipstick, I can make this light lip light pink lipstick a nice blue or something. The um, the colors will always be you're obviously dependent on the base color. So, for instance, hair bases. If I if I wanted to change the color of my hair base to better match my hair, which I'm not wearing, you know, I would start with the white and go from there in different shades. But obviously it would do me no good, or limited good, if I were to start from a dark shade, which isn't to say you cannot tint a dark shade. You can. It, it, it actually washes over it very well it's just I would not be able to get a nice mint green out of hair base 7 or if I chose that color with the with the white one huh. so that is something to bear in mind about hair bases um, and well tint, tinting any part really you can even tint your entire skin for instance, if you wanted to look a bit more tan for summer or whatever, but again, you can't go lighter than than your original tone. But Nevaya, you might say, and I would congratulate you on your correct pronunciation of my name, Nevaya. I would like to save this um, this this variant of my makeup that I made forever and ever. How can I do that? Well, that is where Save Layer Slots comes in down here in the bottom left of the HUD just on the side just like you know stuck in there you click that this will pop out you have a default of four slots per layer however you can also if you find yourself doing this a lot you can buy the uh, Lelutka personal library um, from the main store and it will um, give you unlimited of this so you can save away to your heart's content. It's actually quite affordable, though I can't remember off the top of my head how much it costs. So how this works is extremely simple. You've got your lovely purpley blue lipstick, for instance, and you say, I love this. Um, you're wearing it and you go to these, see these little swatches here? We go to the one next to the lipstick, for example and find an empty one. This one is one that I use, so I'm not going to do that, but I'm going to use this empty one. I'm going to click on it and I'm going to hold on it. One, one second. See, I was going to count you through it, but no need. And this color wheel will pop out. Now this color wheel is just for you to, to know what, um, what you're saving. It doesn't make any bearing on what it looks like it's just a reference for you because you can't name it so even though this lipstick is this indigo blue color i am going to say dark green and there it is now it's saved so i can switch to any other lipstick oh i should probably clear the tint so i've just cleared the tint using clear tints down here and now I'm wearing that pink lipstick that I didn't like, and I'm all like, ugh, I didn't like that. So I can just click this green that we just saved, and my nice indigo lip comes back up. And it's simple as that. Uh, you can do this with your skin, so you can just save your skin. It doesn't need to be any tint or anything. It's just for easy reference, so you can uh, get back to it without having to put the applier back on. Uh, and yeah, this, by the way, works with any third-party 
makeup or skin as well you do not you are not limited just to other ones on the hud so long as you have worn the thing then you can save it and so that makes changing your makeup and then switching back to normal extremely convenient that about covers the essentials tab although you might want to know that this silhouette up here uh will put you into a you know like a standstill pose i'm on my stand so i'm not going to use that right now but that is a built-in pose stand just for you now we're going to go into the animate tab the animate tab is one of the things that makes a bento head so much fun is all the expressions and life that you can have put into it so uh the first thing on the animate tab is the mood selection the mood selection is what's all those little, you know, twitches that the face does. They're the variously opening the mouth and looking around and blinking, like just then, and so on. By default, there are two different moods that are included with Le Luc Kimesh heads. Uh, neutral, which is what I've been wearing all along, and Happy, which you can see makes you very cheerful and makes you do little smirks from time to time. and. You know, it's nice to have if you're just having a nice time with someone. If you're cuddling or something and you you want to show that you're not just all like, I'm a model, see my pout about it, then, you know, the happy, the happy um, expression is nice. Or, you know, if you just want to look friendly, you don't want to just go around grinning like a loon, it's all good. If you don't, if you want your face to keep completely still, you can turn mood selection off completely. Oh, that just froze my mood. Okay, let's go to back to neutral. You can turn it off and your face will stay in place. You know, like if you're taking a photo or if you just don't want to be all like twitch, twitch about it, then that is an option for you. You are not stuck with, you're not stuck having expressions. You can be as dead eyed as you like. <laughs> Speaking of expressions, they are there are all these photographic expressions here on the HUD. I briefly spoke to the, spoke to them, huh, spoke about them in a previous video. They are listed in alphabetical order, but over here, these little tabs allow you to filter them, so you can be all like, I only want to look at negative expressions. Uh, the looped and unlooped I'll explain in a minute, but, you know, negative, positive, and other. I keep them all on most of the time. The See this a little icon down in the corner? This is for the looped ones. These are ones that will keep your face doing that thing the whole time. So, for instance, better than you, which is a little eyebrow raised smirk. Disbelief, which is like, mm, I care okay about that. Dislike, hmm. ego, hmm. but see, ew does not have this down here. It is not a loot expression, and so it just plays it. So it's more like a like a gesture or something. Same with eye roll, flutter, hmm, and so on down the list. Um, the ones with this icon will persist. The ones without it won't. Hubba hubba. I smell a rat. So that is the expressions. And if you ever get stuck in an expression, then you can say stop expression. You can have several on at a time, but it doesn't really work. They do overwrite each other. You can't, um, you can't stack them up and break your face like you could with the system expressions. Underneath this, underneath the expressions tab, these um, these little utilities. There's talk. Now, when this is um, when this is enabled, then your mouth will move when you type um, like this. But when I have this running in in my videos, and I usually forget to, I'm very inconsistent. I'm sorry then that's actually to toggled by a gesture. I don't have to keep typing. I believe the toggle for it is Shift F5. Yes, and so now that's my mouth moving. And it's um, Control F5 to stop it. 
There's also a happy talk mode, which is uh, toggleable by gesture, um, but also is what happens if you have the mood selection um, happy on when you're typing and talking, and that is shift F6, and you're talking cheerfully then. So if you're like talking cheerfully, then there it is, and control F6 to turn that off again. You can turn that off and it will not move your face when you type. Next of all is parted lips. Parted lips is just for if you want to sometimes go around looking a little bit open mouthed for whatever reason, for being pretty, you know, for a picture, or whatever, just a little natural open mouth that is popular in Second Life. Next of all, the eyelids section of it. Um, you can turn the blink on and off again for if you're taking a picture. And then there are various poses you can um, make your eyelids. There is neutral, wide for if you're surprised, relaxed for if you're just chilled, sleepy for if you're sleepy, suspicious for if you're suspicious, and closed for if you're actually sleeping. You can combine them with the facial expression. Sorry, I went through a whole back and forth about can you or can't you. You can. So you can mix and match your eyes and your um, your face, which is fun. Uh, remember to put them back to neutral unless you want to be looking like you're high all the time. <laughs> Finally, in the animate tab, you have the eyes. Um, now these here can control the direction your eyes are looking in for a photo or whatever. You can choose to mirror the controls or to link them. The mirror, I, it, it makes them go in the other direction to where you put them down here. But you would just click on these eyeballs to change the direction of the eyes. I don't know why you'd use this because I was thinking you would from, you know, if you were posing a model's eyes, but no, and you can't pose other people's eyes with this. So I don't know why the mirror controls thing exists, but it does. So if, if you're into that, then you, you can do that. Uh, then there's the link eyes. If you turn that off, you can uh, move each eye individually to be so nice. It's beautiful. Um, again, if you're doing that and you don't want to go around looking like a Minecraft cow, then um, you probably want to turn that back on. So they're linked. And then there's this control switch, which just means that this does or does not control the eyes. Just resets them back to normal. And that's the animate tab. The personalized tab is here for you if you um, have your own layers, makeup layers you've made yourself that you just want to use for personal use rather than like making appliers for other people's use. Excuse me eyes, drooping. It's very straightforward to use. Uh, all you want to do is uh, you take the, uh, the texture from your inventory, you hold down control and you drag it to right up here. Oh yes, command if you're using a Mac. Drag it up to here and it will show up in this box. Sorry, I'm not actually showing you an example because I'm not helpful. But um, it'll show up in this box and then you make sure this box has the red border around it and you click one of these in the diffuse column. Diffuse is the type of um, is the type of texture that you see and there it is ready for personal use um, like my tattoo right here with my blush and freckle now the normal and specular maps are for you to um, are, are for you to add materials if you know how to do that so they're for like bump and shine and then there's these alpha ones and I don't know what those are for I'm sorry finally this tab here is just a general purpose options tab. So you can request updates automatically. You can toggle this on and off. So that means whenever there is an update, if it's turned on, then you will be sent the update immediately. 
and it will show up in your inventory or you know you click accept however you get your things it'll be sent to you is the point whereas if you have this un um, unchecked then you don't get that there's the redeliver option which will just take you to a redelivery page you know if you break it or if you want to keep a boxed version or whatever then here is the nice easy redeliver button so you don't have to go to the store to get it uh, triggers here allows head animations to be triggered by other products so um, if a if like a chair for instance has you going ew constantly you, you can let it do that or not if it's scripted to trigger your facial expressions I suspect this is more for if you use adult furniture but I don't know I haven't really encountered that that actually trigger the Lelukka animations rather than just some default bento facial expressions rerouting is an interesting um, is an interesting new tab uh, new option uh, if you have it turned on it will ask you what layer you want to put something on uh, when when you put an applier on so if we just switch back to the essentials tab real quick if I go to put on a different lipstick then you can see up here it asks where to reroute it to just what layer do I want it on it will only apply to the part of the face that it's at so I cannot apply a lipstick to an eyeshadow layer but I could for instance apply a lipstick to a tattoo layer and that way I could layer two lipsticks on top of each other if I wanted to but then I would lose my um, my tattoo you might have noticed that it went ahead and applied there it has quite a short timer for you to pick where you want to reroute it to but that is what that is for you can likewise if you have a tattoo layer that goes up that goes over the eyes you can choose to apply that just to the eyeshadow or whatever repair repair transparencies restores all layer transparencies to alpha blend option so that's just if you break something again repair 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 it puts everything back to default much like if you were to click the restore in the um, essentials tab this will do it all for you um, right away restore factory settings which will just make it as if it were brand new as if you had a redelivered one sent right to you it will get rid of um, everything you've got saved in the HUD everything it will just restore factory settings you will have your basic head right back there kill script as it um, as it explains here please make a copy of your face first because all scripted functions will be disabled basically this is to cut down on lag so for instance if you are going to a very laggy event where it was still important for you to look fantastic then you would do all your makeup or whatever and then kill script but absolutely for the love of God make a backup because you will not be able to restore those scripts so be cautious with that option but be courteous to other people do sometimes use it if you need to uh, the sound volume is just for the clicking sounds of the HUD um, I actually have my in-world sounds turned off right now so you haven't noticed it but it does just make a little kind of sound when you click things you can turn it right off or you can fiddle with the volume and then this one here high on screen um, if you have it uh, enabled then when you minimize it using this tab up here then it'll go up here instead of down at the bottom where I prefer to keep it here will take you through a link to the user manual which you know if, if I've been inadequate please do not hesitate to click through it's good to know how to use things below are the promotional websites for various um, aspects of this Lelutka, Flickr, the Second Life website and Omega I have explained how to install Omega in a previous video which I will link below um, that is pretty much everything for the Lelutka Bento Heads um, HUD except one more thing now updates to Lelutka Bento mesh heads come through relatively frequently 
And um, and so with this in mind, you know, you'll often want to update the HUD as well. I've received six updates, I think, since I started losing, using Lelut Kabento heads in December. And um, yeah, you, you will want to find a way to back up your saved thingies, your, your saved slots here and your tints. And there is actually an inbuilt way to do that. And that is using the Lelutka head backup system, which comes in the folder with your head, which you just res on the ground at your home somewhere safe. And it looks like a whole beautifully meshed version of your cool HUD. Uh, what you do with this is you click it and then this dialogue will pop up here. Let look ahead backup system stores your animations and save presets in case you wish to reload them after a product update or misconfiguration. Uh, so all you have to do is click backup. You can choose to back up the animations and save slots. Now, it says animations, and right now we only have the ones that come by default, but quite soon you will be able to purchase add-on animations. So that's what that's all about. Uh, you can choose to back up animations, save slots, which are these guys down the side, or all. We're going to say all because everything's important. Then you just want to wait a few minutes and some dialogue will pop up, but I have my chat um, down in the corner. Uh, I don't know if you could see, but it did, you know, those little, little particles around it to show it was doing a thing, uh, which I think we can assume is done. And then we can click it and we can choose to back up or restore. Uh, when, when you get an update, when you get an update for your product, just put on the new HUD, hit restore, and it will it will it will have your back. It'll it'll back up your stuff just as it was before, but on a brand new up-to-date HUD. So you do not have to stick to old versions because it's more difficult or whatever to update because here is this box, it's nice and it looks cool. I, I like this box, I, I like this makeup thing. My credits are the hair I was wearing at the beginning of the video was by Doe and is called Polly. My makeup was by Shiny Stuffs. I think it was all Shiny Stuffs this time. My my cardigan here is by Blueberry. It is the Cutie Berry. And my jeans are from Adams. And my shoes are by ROC. Uh, and that is what I am wearing. And that has been a little tutorialette about about how to know some stuff about this thing. Okay, bye.